Today, we are blessed to present the insightful conference entitled The Traveling Businessman and a Trustworthy Ghost on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on April 25th, 2021. We have questions. We have one question so far. Only one? Yes. Okay, okay. Tell me then. Master? There is an ongoing crisis at the U.S.-Mexico border. Uh, in the first few months of Joe Biden's presidency, the number of illegal immigrants apprehended has surged, with more huh. arrivals than any other period in the past 20 years. Yeah. Some say it is fueled by the perception that his administration has a more open border policy. By contrast, the former U.S. President, His Excellency Donald Trump's policies tightly restricted legal and illegal immigration and directed immigration officials to apprehend anyone in the country unlawfully. Would Master kindly share her thoughts on this issue? Yes, uh, President Trump wanted to regulate the immigration traffic flow from other countries to be in a more orderly manner to protect the Americans as well as the immigration mm. people. The U.S. has already actually a kind of open policy, like uh, yearly everyone can apply to live there or work there if they win the green card program. 55,000 nowadays yearly can have that chance. Plus, anyone can apply in many other ways to live and work in the U.S. openly. Uh, Open border is very good, yes, but it should be done, you know, uh, in the organized way. Otherwise, it will be chaotic, as I have read in the news. It uh, seems to to breed a kind of crisis, yeah, at the border between between USA and uh, Mexico. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, because. You cannot just open the border without for planning. Yes. Yes. In Europe, it's different. They have a single zone where people from different countries in Europe can just uh, go in and out of any other countries without without any border, without checkpoints, yeah, without passport or any ID uh, necessary. But they had planned many equipment and systems to put this uh, into practice. But America and Mexico and others like uh, South American countries, they did not plan. So in that case, it's, it's not very good to just uh, let people come in like that because you might have uh, different people who are not uh, qualified with maybe disease or criminal records or other kind of uh, unpleasant things. And also, if you don't plan in advance, then you don't have like a center to screen people and to give them ID to go into the U.S. so that they can find a job or they can find their relatives. As I saw it in the news, it's kind of very chaotic. All the children squeeze together in pens and it's very, almost very unkind because people come to the United States all of a sudden, so the people at the border cannot deal with the influx so fast. And there might be not enough comfortable uh, accommodation and not enough food. You know, the logistic stuff, this is not uh, very good like that. Not good for America, not good for Mexicans and other uh, immigrants. Uh, I heard that they came all the way from even Honduras and other countries in Central America. So to open a border is very nice, very kind and very good for for any country. When you need some extra workers or you just want to be hospitable, it's very good. But in this case, when it's so chaotic like that, 
is very bad for for the immigrants, especially for the small children. I saw them even dropped over the fence, the wall of the border, and that's very bad for them. This must be traumatic for them, and it's very difficult for the child to forget this kind of dramatic experience in their very young and tender age. And also important is in the time of pandemic, most of the borders are closed to protect the, the people. And at the moment, it's not favorable to open. If the children are squeezed together like that, healthy and unhealthy, you know, that's very bad for all of them. Don't you think so? Yes. yes. And also, I saw it in the news that many people are sick. Uh, like, they have COVID-19 and they are just let, you know, to run, go into the United States. And that might infect uh, healthy Americans also. Yeah. That's very, very inconsiderate. It should not have been done this way. Yeah, it should have been more organized before the immigrants were able to come into America. Hmm. Otherwise, the open border is very good. Yeah, good for the host country, good for the immigrants. Because immigrants need jobs and they will be motivated to work very hard and contribute to the country as well as for the immigrant himself. Yeah. It's just that we have to organize, you know, in advance, have a good place for them to stay. Meanwhile, then some doctors, some medical personnel to take care of their health when they first come and organize the logistic uh, situation, you know, with food and clothing and uh, blankets and rooms and hygiene, stuff like that. But it wasn't really very organized and that's very, very bad for the children who are sent there, especially without any parents or adults accompaniment. I don't think it's very kind. Even the intention may be good. Yes. Yeah. But, yeah, but good intention is not everything. Good intention has to come also with good logistic arrangements, yes, and all the preparation to welcome the guests. Even in Europe, with this uh, Schengen agreement in the Schengen zone, during the pandemic, borders are closed also. So the border between the U.S. and Mexico opened. I think it's not a very good idea at the moment. Besides, the mentality of European countries is maybe different from the mentality of the Mexicans and the Americans. Different expectations, different way of life. In the European Union, most of the people's standards of living are similar. Of course, they are always the, the richer and the less rich, but uh, the standards of living are more or less similar between the countries in the Schengen zone. Even then, during the pandemic, they closed the borders as a prevention to protect their citizens. Especially in the pandemic situation like we are in right now, I don't know if the borders should be open like that. Mm. Yes. 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 And that would be also uh, encouraging the smugglers, you know, human traffickers, or drug traffickers, all kinds of uh, unfavorable groups of people also will be mixing in. And that's no good for the host country, for America at all. Yes, yes. Master. Any more questions? Um, Master, I thought of one recently. Uh, India is experiencing a record number of COVID infections and deaths recently. Recently? More than before? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, hospitals are even having to turn people away and uh -huh. some hospitals are even running out of oxygen, which is very worrying. Um, yeah. I wonder why India is experiencing this unfortunate situation at the moment. I know the recently one of the biggest festivals went ahead, Kumbh Mela, which attracted many uh -huh. thousands, perhaps even millions of people. And yeah, yeah. And it still went ahead, even amid the pandemic. Yeah. Could this be one of the reasons why there are so many infections and deaths happening at the moment? 
Well, it's obvious, no? Yeah. Yes. Maybe they open too early, no? Yes. Yes, Master. But India is a very big country and has a big population. I think the government also doesn't want to uh, restrict people too long, you know? Yeah. yeah. And especially it concerns the Kumbh Mela is a very, very big event and is religiously very, very important. So perhaps the government couldn't really forbid that. Right. India is a very religious country, and Kumbh Mela is like Mecca. Hundreds of thousands of people come every day. It amounts to millions. In this situation, the COVID infection is very easy to spread. So that probably is also one of the reasons, okay? Yeah. But in other countries also they have such a problem right now as well. And and the COVID has mutated itself up to now, even a double mutation, double variant. And it rearranged itself to avoid the neutralization of the the vaccine. Yes, Master. This virus is something, I told you before, it has souls in it. It's so clever. It seems to always be one step ahead of human's intelligence and invention. I think humans don't invent quickly enough for this kind of virus. So it's just karma. Yes. 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 Very difficult, very difficult to avoid this kind of uh, sickness. And the thing is, it's not like uh, uh, many other uh, pandemics or epidemics where you can have a, a vaccine and then it will go away. This one, to some people, it goes away. To some people, it doesn't go away. And the report from the authority is that they did research and it is stated that one third of the uh, infected patients has a long, long, long recovery. Uh, many have a long recovery, even one year on and after, they are still don't feel the same. They still feel this hangover from this pandemic. And, and they say one third of the patients would have a brain problem. They call it brain fog. So you have a hazy thinking or feeling inside your brain, so it's called brain fog. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they also like that. One third of the patients, at least, that's what they said. Ah, uh, so it looks like uh, it's difficult to avoid this one. Yeah. Yes, master. Yes, master. Covid nineteen, very difficult. It keeps changing its strategy, you know, and we humans keep running after it, keep chasing it and hunting it, but it's seems like we are not in a favorable win-win situation right now. Right. Even double variant, my God. Any other questions? This the earphone doesn't hear very well. Say something so I can hear whether or not. <laughs> you are like a herd, you know. <laughs> you have herd immunity or not? <laughs> uh, I remember I saw in some film somewhere, you know, or the aliens when the leader or somebody says something, they always say. Uh-huh. All together, you know? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> All together, big group. <laughs> I can't remember what name that is. It's a comedy about alien babies and, you know, alien people who came and fell in love with a earthling a woman and stuff like that. <laughs> okay, any other questions? Hmm? Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> 
Did you rehearse in advance? No. <laughs> Because you always say, like in a group, you know, no, master, yes, master. <laughs> like this, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> the aliens <laughs> in that film. Okay, if you don't have any more questions. So I read you a story. Or not? Yeah. From the same book. <laughs> <laughs> I was seen somewhere where it talked something about Solomon, saying that Solomon has another kind of Bible, but it's not written. <laughs> oh. And and I was thinking, wow. <laughs> Just like us, eh? Yes. Yeah. In the Buddhist Sutra, they say that the the real uh, Dharma is transmitted without spoken words, without written words, without sutra, without uh, holy writings. So probably the same, huh? They all say the same thing, huh? Uh, yes. Your master gives you initiation, same stuff, huh? Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing written in the Bible at all or in any Buddhist sutra. No. Huh? No. Yes. Yeah, that's the way it is. Uh, Chinese, they say, Jiao Wai Bia Chuan, meaning outside of the scriptures, the, the method will be transmitted outside of the scriptures. Yes. That's what it is. And the Diamond Sutra says also, if you use the forms or the sound to understand the, the Dharma, the teaching, then it's not it. <laughs> so that's why the, the initiation doesn't have any form, doesn't have any sound. Yes? Yes. 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 Because the form and the sound are from this world. It's not the real teaching. Only the one from heaven, direct, within yourself. Uh, and. Uh, transmitted by the Master, that is the real teaching, without talking, yeah. Because you can read a thousand sutras, can read hundreds of Bibles, or any other documents, spiritual documents, would never get you anywhere, huh? Yeah. yeah. Never, never give you the experience that you want, or the experience that is spoken of in the Holy Scriptures spoken, but nobody can help it, except by the initiation with the real Master. Yes. 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 Everybody can read the sutra, say, oh, you know, you can see God, you can see light, you can hear the music inside, but nobody sees anything. Nobody hears anything. <laughs> oh, you can read the, a thousand sutras. It may say the same thing and describe all the experiences, but you never see anything. You can read it, just like reading uh, money reports on TV, <laughs> but you don't have any. <laughs> uh, you know it, huh? I'm glad, you laugh. <laughs> I'm glad you laugh. It's good, it's good. It means you are enlightened. Hmm. It's different, eh? Different when you're enlightened, when you're not, eh? Okay, I read you something. We talk about money. Now I'm reading you uh, something about a business uh, man. <laughs> Just by the way, is it right here? This is about a traveling businessman mm. and a ghost, a trustable ghost. You can say that. Meaning you can trust him. Trustworthy. I trust you, buddy. <laughs> Thank God I talk to you sometimes, otherwise I don't know human language anymore. Sometimes <laughs> I still need to, to deal with many things in Chinese. And I say to them, oh, lucky, lucky that I can speak some Chinese. <laughs> Because not everything can be, how I say, Uh, written and sent by email. Yes, 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 yes Master. Yes. Something, sometimes are confidential, sometimes they have to explain, sometimes uh, it takes too long to write, so I have to still speak in Chinese, and it's good so, otherwise I forget. 
just now we we did some uh, meditation and prayer for the vegan world, huh? Yes, yes Master. Master. Were you in? Yes, yes Master. Master. I mean, really in, in your heart? Yes, yes, yes. yes Master. Yeah, I was crying so hard. Oh. I was crying so much, yes. <sighs> and I told all the heavens that they have to do something. Because in the physical world, I have some limitations. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes. yes. So I told them they have to put all their power together and do something to help the animals. I told them, don't help me. Don't need to help me. Whatever happens to me, it happens. Just help the animals. They suffer so much. And in turn, they make humans suffer so much too. Oh, I was crying my heart out with heaven. I wonder if you hear me. Did you hear me, Noah? You're too busy in Samadhi, right? <laughs> no, I'm sure you are sincere. I'm sure you're sincere. It's good. Just to let you know that I'm not over that yet. Huh? Yes, Master. Actually, I don't need this. I hear you well. Oh, I did pluck it in, but it doesn't work. Just makes me more trouble. <laughs> All right, I still put it on so that the, whoever bought it feels happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I feel satisfied, you know, like he's done some good thing. <laughs> I feel boom, boom, boom inside. <laughs> All right, here comes. A rich man has a son whom he loved immensely with all his heart. But one day, the son came to talk to, to the father, talk to this uh, rich man, saying, Father, I have never gone away from home to do any business yet. Uh, nowadays, I see that you are not very young anymore, and should it happen that one day you have to leave this physical world, then I worry that at that time I will not be able to do any business, as I will not have had any experience then. So the father said to the son, Yeah, you're right. Is it true that I and your mother both are very old now, but uh, we are very wealthy? Yeah. And uh, except for you, no one is here to take care of both of us, meaning the father and the mother. Yeah. So is it better, I think, that you stay here with us? You don't need to do any business. Why would you want to leave me and your mom and go away? So the son replied. He insisted that he already, you know, decided. He said to the father, I'm already determined in this direction. And the father said, Oh, so be it then. Okay, now you take 100 gold pieces and then go wherever you want to go and then buy and sell anything that you would like to. But you must remember, never uh, do any business with someone else, meaning he should just be independent and do all the transactions all by himself. The son took the money and left. He went with the ship to the other side of the sea to see other countries. Yes. Over there, he bought what so sold <laughs> until, <laughs> until he earned a big sum of money. Yeah. And he himself became very rich. Wow. Well, that's typical of children. They want to be also something. Yes. Yes. To be like independent and able, yes, successful. Yes. Mm. yes, Master. It's okay, so, and why not? It's just the parents felt that 
uh, they are rich enough and the son doesn't have to go anywhere. But, you know, children, when they're grown up, they like to make adventures and be themselves, you know, independent and feel like uh, grown up and successful. All right. And then he heard that there was a very big land somewhere very far away. And over there, there may be better opportunities for business. So he also packed up and went there. Before he went into the capital of that country, he saw a farmer plowing the field. Yes, yes, sir. yes. So he uh, said hello and uh, wished him well and all that. And then the farmer responded to his uh, courtesy, also wished him well. You know, like uh, in the Arab country, when you see them, they will say, peace be on you, yeah? Yes, yes. yes Master. Yes, Assalamu alaikum. Something like that, yes? Yes, yes, yes Master. <laughs> uh, maybe my Arabic is not that good, but that's what I heard. Uh, and then, also like in England or America, when you see somebody, not all of them do that to the stranger, but some people will say, hi, how are you? And the other will say, hey, I'm okay, and you? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> how are you, by the way? I forgot. Good, 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 good. I was lost in all this technical stuff. Yes, yes, yes. yes Master. My, my table it doesn't look like anything that I have ever imagined in my <laughs> younger life. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> okay, just maybe you can see something. Can you see anything? No? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. yes. 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 Oh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wow. And I room them. A I room a lot already. There are a lot more everywhere else. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. Hidden, hidden. I'm okay. a very tidy person, but <laughs> but in this case, I gave up, you know, because so much, so much stuff. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Master. Wow. It takes up the whole table. Mm. <laughs> And I'm glad that I could even put my book, but it's on top of many wires. <laughs> oh, thank you. What are you doing? The camera uh, wants to go away to do business or something. <laughs> you better stay here, take care of me. I'm alone, yeah? <laughs> We don't need to do business, yes? We are rich enough. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm a very tidy person, but this is beyond my housekeeping talent. Before, I could not see the wires anywhere, and I tried to hide them or organize them so that they're not seen. But now I just give up. I just, whatever, I let it be. And they even threatened to buy more stuff for me. <laughs> oh, my dear. So the traveling businessman told the, uh, the farmer first, in this city, in this capital city, do you know anyone who, uh, who is trustworthy? The farmer uh, told him about one person, such and such, and say, oh, if you even have 1,000 gold pieces, you would feel peaceful to give it to that person to take care of it for you. So he was very happy. The traveler thanked the farmer and then uh, asked the way to go to that uh, trustworthy person. When he got there, he introduced himself to this trustworthy person and then he said to him, uh, sir, I have heard that you are a very, very trustworthy person, 
at the moment I have uh, uh, with me a very, very big, big sum of money. Uh, I would uh, like to have somebody take care of it. If you would be so kind, I would be happy to uh, entrust it to you. And uh, one year after, I will come back to get it. So the trustworthy person said, Oh, yeah, sure, sure, you can. You go to... <laughs> Why are you laughing? Of course he would say that. <laughs> okay, he said, sure, can do. You just uh, go to my office over there, and uh, in my office there is a big safe. You can put anything there you want. And then the traveling businessman did as he was instructed. He put uh, his money go pieces inside the safe, locked it, and then took the key with him. It sounds like a bank, huh? <laughs> you you put things in the safe, huh? <laughs> yes, master. And take the key with you. I never did it. I don't know what I saw. They do it. People do that. I don't have enough to have to do that. <laughs> Not enough. Not much. <laughs> Actually, even if I had it, we we would use it somewhere anyway. Yes. I don't take care of money that much. Some, but the rest, you know, others take care. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes. In our group, yeah, there are people who take care of this and that. Thank God, otherwise, I don't think I could sit here if every day I have to keep counting money and put it in the safe like that, boy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 then I think, I think my table would be more crowded than this right now. <laughs> Full of uh, gold, <laughs> gold pieces. <laughs> in the old time, people use gold as a uh, currency, eh? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Gold and silver and copper and stuff like that. Maybe gold for one thousand US dollars, yeah, <laughs> and silver for maybe five hundred, yeah. and copper for two hundred, and zinc or whatever. Not you know like. Change small ones, coins, <laughs> yeah, yeah. maybe like that. Yes, my God, poor people in the old time. Imagine you you carry one million U.S. dollars with you oh. in gold, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> and they didn't have cars like we have nowadays, eh? Yes, yes. yes. And poor horses. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Poor horses who had to carry rich people and their gold and silver and whatnot. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Are you glad you are in this period of our Earth lifetime? Mm -hmm. huh? yes. 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 yes, Master. Paper is also heavy. It's a big big sum, but it's not that heavy like gold and silver, eh? Yes. Yeah, right, yes, Master. Oh, we're lucky. And we have cars, even. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Things are lighter and we have cars, and before things were heavier. And before they also have like uh, pots uh, made with the uh, earth, yeah? Uh, yes, yes master. Or, yeah. or copper and stuff like that to put the things inside, yeah? Yes, yes, yes master. Yes. Or to put water and to put rice and food and whatever. Oh man, I feel sorry for the horses who had been born in those times, don't you? Yes, yes, yes master. master. And imagine if you go somewhere and you cannot get a, a, a horse cart. What do you do with all that, huh? To carry money with you is already a big problem. With all this gold, silver, copper, zinc, uh, uh, aluminum, whatever that is. Yes. So then, this uh, traveling businessman took the key with him and went to other cities in that big, big, huge country and uh, continue to sell, sell, buy, buy, and then <laughs> earn a lot, a lot of money. Yeah. Wow. Don't you feel like itchy? <laughs> Don't you feel like <laughs> wanting to go to some big country like that? No. Huge country like America, Russia. <laughs> Spain, yeah. <laughs> Make money, no? No, 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 no. No, not interesting. 
We don't know if we will stay that long here, right? right. Yeah. 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 Who knows about the world or about the karma of people? But let's not be so <laughs> unpositive. Yes. Actually, I have never been so unpositive before, but the negative things still happen to me. Yeah. Then I begin to doubt whether or not <laughs> I am positive enough. <laughs> but for an ordinary person or, or an ordinary disciple, to be positive is good. Okay? Yes, yes. Master. But for the Master, it doesn't matter if you're positive or negative. Things happen the way it should happen. Okay? Right. Yes. Yes, yes, Master. Like, yeah, you can see all the Masters. They are the most positive. Right? Yes, 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 Master. Like Lord Jesus, Lord Buddha, Lord Mahavira, but the things still happen to them. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. But for the disciples, they are very positive and all good things always happen to them. <laughs> Lucky. Yeah. It's better than nobody has good things happen to them. Right? Yeah. Yes, yes, Master. So it's only the Master. When no good thing happens, then it's okay. Only one person. It's all right. All right, so uh, after one year, he returned to the capital of that country. On the way, he saw a person uh, who walked opposite him, and then uh, he asked that person whether or not he knew the person that he had entrusted his money to. So the opposite uh, direction person said, Yeah, I know him. I know him, but he is not alive anymore. Uh, oh. <laughs> you should, you should oh, be alive, no. man. You just sat there, no, waiting for me to direct you like a film. <laughs> Open your mouth. Ah, ah. You know, <laughs> show some surprise or something. <laughs> Even when I... When I went to the theater to see movies, I was more alive than you. <laughs> You're not supposed to make noise in the movies, but I could never help myself. <laughs> I was all excited or sad or say, huh? Huh? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I always commented on the movies. <laughs> and I even criticized the character. He said, you bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes the movies go in front of me, or you know, they look at me. <laughs> I said, okay, sorry. <laughs> and then I did it again. <laughs> uh, so I always went early so that I could sit right in the front or right at the back. <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> or wherever was the most empty. <laughs> <laughs> or I put uh, the toothpick in my mouth, yeah? yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I can watch a movie without talking. But then I forgot, and then the, <laughs> the toothpick <laughs> fell <laughs> on the <floor. laughs> And I cannot pick it up again, it's so dirty, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm all real, you know. I focus on something that I'm so intense. <laughs> Yeah. So, after hearing the other person tell him that bad news, he broke out in sweat, feeling so bad, so bad, rubbing his head and lamenting. But the other person 
from the opposite direction that he encountered, said to the traveling businessman, Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, let me tell you, uh, everything will be well with the God's uh, blessing. Believe that, okay? The traveler half <laughs> believe, half still crying, kind of. And he didn't know what to say, so the opposite direction <laughs> person said to him, You know, let me tell you, in our capital here, we have a custom. That is, after somebody dies, uh, one month later, he will return home. At that time, the soul, you know, the soul of the disease, will appear in the house and sit on a chair that is placed in the middle of the house. And then all the families and clan members and uh, even neighbors and friends will come mm, to greet him and ask him about their relatives and friends who have been dead before that. Yes. 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 And even the debt collectors, to whom people owe money, will also come. And then the soul of the deceased that return home after one month will direct the family members to whom to repay the debt, how much, and all that. The one that you have mentioned uh, has been dead for only three weeks ago. So within one week, he will come back home. Uh, so next week, you can uh, come to his house and ask about the money that you have entrusted to him or any other things you want to ask. And then you will be answered. You will be satisfied. Mm -hmm. right. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So after hearing thus, the traveling businessman became more frightened. <laughs> Me too. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, he was more frightened <laughs> and told the other person, the native, say, I have never in my whole life heard anything about somebody who died already and came back and talked to friends and family in the daylight like that. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, but the native, you know, told him in a very assuring manner, ah, here we have this event all the time, okay? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. So uh, after that, uh, the native went his way and the uh, traveling businessman entered the capital, yeah. He stayed there for one week, and then one month after that trustworthy person died, the traveling businessman went to his house. And do you know what he saw? Yes. Ghost. 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 Ghost? Yes. With the soul of the uh -huh. guy. Okay. So the dead man appeared. Oh. Sat. <laughs> sat on the chair in the middle of the house, look exactly like somebody who is still alive. Oh. Look like you now, sitting oh. on the chair like that, <laughs> in the middle of the room. <laughs> are you ghost or are you human? <laughs> I'm not sure. Man. <laughs> are you still alive? <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. yes. You sure? Yes. yes. Pinch yourself. Yes. <laughs> okay, just to wake you up. I'm not sure if you're still there or you are <laughs> alive, but half in somewhere else. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Did you pinch yourself? Yes. 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 It hurts? Yes. yes. Yeah, then, then you are still there. <laughs> I cannot trust you otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> and at the same time, all the family members and friends and neighbors were surrounding him, the ghost. Then they were questioning him about 
their own family members or friends, you know, or relatives on the other side of life. You know what I'm saying, right? Yes, yes. yes Master. The deceased persons. So the one that returned home, the ghost, so will return home, guarantee with all of them that their family members, relatives and friends were very peaceful on the other side of the world and all was well with them. Oh. After he answered all the questions of all the people who gathered there, the traveling businessman went near him and asked, Sir, um, today is over a year since I entrusted my uh, money to you and put it uh, in the safe. Yeah, in your office, and the keys I still have here. I want to return the key to you now, and would you please return the money that I entrusted to you? The ghost say, yeah, please go outside and find my wife and bring her here. So he, he went out and looked for his wife and brought her in. And then the ghost said to his wife, didn't I tell you that if this young man returned to our house because of his possessions that he has entrusted, you should have given it to him, provided that he has the key for the safe. I told you that, didn't I? So the woman said to the ghost, I swear to you that since you told me that up to now, I have never seen this young man come to our house. So the traveling uh, businessman uh, told the ghost, Oh, yeah, yeah, your, your wife is right. Up to now, I have never come here and asked about my money. So the ghost said to his wife, Okay, now you uh, go quickly to uh, take the money out, take everything out, uh, whatever he put in there, and return it to him. Uh, you must make sure that everything is still there and return to him intact. So the wife said to the businessman, come, come with me, take everything from the safe that you have put in there. So uh, he went with her. After that, he said goodbye and left the house. But after he left the house, he was thinking to himself, I don't feel very well about all this. Hmm. I have to really investigate and find out how come in this city, whoever dies, come back one month afterward and appears in the house like that. Mm. Yeah. yeah, he thought to himself like that, and then he hid himself in uh, some obscure area, and then he waited for the ghost to come out of uh, the city gate. When he saw him, he grabbed his clothes and told the ghost, In the name of God, tell me, who are you? Are you really the person that I entrusted my money to? If you are really that person, then tell me what is special about this city that uh, everyone who dies returns to the house and appears like that. The ghost said to him, Hey, hey, release me quickly. You cannot keep me here. I must go quickly. I am not allowed to stay here one more minute. Oh. Yeah, so the, the businessman said to the ghost, but you have to tell me everything, then I will let you go. So the ghost say, I wonder how can he grab the ghost? <laughs> <laughs> For what we know, the ghosts don't have any physical form, right? Yeah. yeah. Or maybe he can appear in the physical form for that moment, yeah? yeah. Yes. yeah that's right. But normally the ghosts, can uh, have some magic power or stuff like that. Yes. 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 
Oh, this girl's useless, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he doesn't do anything. No wonder people just trust him because he never does anything <laughs> to anybody. Okay. Maybe he just knows how to keep the, the, the safe. <laughs> yeah. So the ghost said to him, Okay, okay, I will tell you. I will tell you. As you saw now, I am a ghost. I'm allowed to cheat the, the citizens in this city. Mm. They asked me about their families and friends and relatives' welfare in the other world. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I will tell them everything is okay. They are at peace and happy. But in reality, they are being burned oh. <laughs> in hellfire because of their sin. Uh, Job himself was thinking of these hell people when he said to God, you make all the countries become great and you will also destroy them all. You make them become important and you will also make them ruined. That's what Job said. You know, Job is one of the personages in the Bible, yeah? Yes. We talk about that later. I'll finish this first, yeah. So after that, the traveling businessman returned home to his own country with all the money and possessions that he had earned. The parents were so overjoyed to see him again. And from then on, the whole family live in happiness. End the story. Đã đến và sẽ dừng chân Job himself was thinking of these hell people when he said to God, You make all the countries become great, and you will also destroy them all. You make them become important, and you will also make them ruined. That's what Job said. You know, Job is uh, one of the personages in the Bible, yeah? Yes. 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 We talk about that later. I'll finish this first. Yeah. So after that, the traveling businessman returned home to his own country with all the money and possessions that he had earned. The parents were so overjoyed to see him again. And from then on, the whole family lived in happiness. End the story. <laughs> Job is one of the personages in the Holy Bible. Mm. The story in the Bible talks about a very rich person named Job. He was very faithful to God. He feared God and, and believed in God strongly. Even during uh, any of the calamities that he encountered in life, such as twice his house was burned, and uh, all his property was gone. His uh, family all died, wife and children all dead. Wow. Wow. He still had strong faith in God and believed that whatever God has arranged has, has, mm -hmm. has purpose. So he has never lost faith in God. Right. This is a kind of a story to, to explain how come Good people, virtuous people, often encounter suffering. And the bad people, not just bad people, of course, but like villains, yes. Yes. never have any trouble. But it's not true. There are also some bad people who have been punished. Huh? Yeah? Yes, okay. But people don't see that. They see something else. 
They see like some wicked people, how come they are prosperous, you know, famous and glorified even, or in a high position, stuff like that. So they mostly complain, say, good people don't have luck, you know, bad people are glorified. Okay, nah? that's it, nah? just to tell you who Job was. Hmm? Hmm. Okay, it's done now. Thank you, Will you be uh, sleeping well tonight? <laughs> can, you <st> can you still go to the bathroom alone? <laughs> or you need your colleague to <laughs> accompany you? <laughs> uh, don't worry, I'm also alone, okay? Yes. I don't know if I can ask anybody to come accompany me. Nobody around. Nobody near. <laughs> Not even dogs, so so we are the same. We are in it together, yeah? Yes. Yes. If you are afraid, you call your master, yeah? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm afraid, I think of you that's calling me, so we have company. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? People die, they don't. I enjoy heaven and are not all well. Like sometimes the relatives and friends who are still alive think, yeah? yeah. It's not like that. Lucky are some who are like um, rescued by some maybe good practitioners or master or something like that, or who are, who are not in hell, yes? yes. And uh, maybe sometimes relatives and friends can contact them. Rarely though, rarely though. Most are just fake. Yes. Faked by some medium uh, in some uh, dark room, just uh, faking the relatives and friends to answer them, Aww. just for entertainment or earning money. But if somebody who is staying above the astral world, most people, if they don't do anything good, and they cannot go to heaven well, they cannot, they must go to hell first. Long or short, depends. And other people who may be lucky can go to this uh, so-called astral city, above the astral planet, similar to the film that we have seen, yeah? Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. It is true like that. As I told you already, between different levels of consciousness, there is a buffer zone, yeah? Yes, Master. Very big, very big. And great practitioners or masters, they can create cities or countries there, or place or heaven for their followers or some good people who are connected with them to go there and live, so they don't have to go to hell. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why I wanted to read you that story. But this traveling businessman is very brave, huh? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Would you dare to grab a ghost like that? No, no, no. <laughs> Let me try. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> tell me. Tell me who you are. <laughs> tell me now. <laughs> I won't let you go. <laughs> Any question concerning that? Any comments? No good, no good. Then it's good. Then it's good. Ah, I just want to scare you, but you're not scared at all, eh? <laughs> it doesn't look to me like you are scared. No, eh? We have a master. Ah, because you live together, that's why. <laughs> ah. <laughs> that's the secret of your bravery. <laughs> Yeah, true. Yeah. If you live alone like me, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, <true. laughs> All right. I also won't go out at night, though. No. <laughs> not because I'm afraid of ghosts. Guess why I don't go out at night? Tell me if you are right, I'll read you the next story next time. Mas is more afraid of humans than the ghosts. Ah, who who said that? Right hand? 
Ah, I don't even see your face anyway, so I don't know who is who. <laughs> Very good. Next time I read the next story to you alone. <laughs> Very good answer. Yes. I'm more afraid of humans than ghosts. Yes. I have to always take care of myself. But one day, you know, there will be a day. Sometimes I'm afraid, sometimes not. It depends on the energy, the scent, or that's around, or something stays up on it. I could be living alone in a desert or mountain. I never feel afraid, unless there is something else, you know, that makes me feel afraid, influences me. Like if the hunters are around, shooting around, and all the animals are very frightened, yeah. and I feel also frightened. Yeah. But that doesn't mean I run away. I would just stay there. I just had this feeling of fear. Okay? Yes. 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 Yeah. It's too near. Yes. All right. Even if I want to talk to you like this, I have to consult with heaven whether or not it's safe oh. tonight. Yes. Yeah. I wanted to talk to you three nights ago, oh. but it wasn't safe. So uh, I wait until today. They say today is okay. Anyway. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Ah, uh, uh, you're welcome. Welcome. Uh, I was sometimes forgetful of the day, you know, because sometimes I work at night or meditate at night a lot, and then I forgot the time when I saw, like, uh, last night, okay. After 12, it's Sunday. Yes. Yes. Now it's Monday already, right? Yes. 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 But after maybe 2, 3 o'clock already, in the morning, I had to go look for something, and I turned on the, the flashlight of the cell phone, yes, yes. and yes. I saw it said Sunday 25th. It was Sunday 25th yesterday, right? Yes. 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 Okay. And then that's the day I'm supposed to talk to you. And I was thinking, oh my God, I passed it. <laughs> oh, what to do, what to do? How can I be so forgetful? But then today I realized, no, 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 it was just the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> and then I immediately called you guys and said, prepare, we make a conference before it's too late. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Why? For what? For calling us. Talking to us. Huh? Talking to us. Talking to us. Talking to us. Thank you for uh, talking to us. Yeah. I yeah. thought you said for nothing to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your master is getting old, man. He's pretty old now. <laughs> Why is it too much work, you know? I'm like a forgetful professor or something. <laughs> Lucky I don't forget you yet. Don't think you I forget you, okay? Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. You're not that lucky. <laughs> I mean, you're not that lucky that I <laughs> that I already forget you. <laughs> okay. Very lucky. Oh God, I want to say something. You see, in this story, the ghost even told, and truthfully, that most people who die suffer in hell, because a very rare we have some virtuous and morally uncorrupted person. Yes, yes, master. yes master. And to eat meat and all that is already a sin, already sinful, and already punishable by law, universal law. I really want to plead with all the religious leaders. You must make a good example. You must 
be a vegan now, then God will forgive. Otherwise, truly, you will go to hell. I mean it, like everyone else. If you continue to eat meat, drink wine, and even just to eat meat, not drink wine, it's already sinful enough to be punished in hell for a long, 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 long time. We can put the hotline or the talk of the sister from China about hell. 徒儿可以证实师父说，吃肉会下地狱是真实的。有一天午夜打坐完毕，内在师父跟我说：“你应该下地狱去学习当佛菩萨，并帮助那里的众生。”内在师父用无上大力量保护等级还不够的我，下了地狱，让徒儿没有任何灼伤之感或是恐惧感。地藏王菩萨带我去一处地狱，此处罪人被强迫在一个形如水车般的大黑铁轮上面拼命的快跑。如果跑得跟不上铁轮转动的速度，就会掉到下面用烈火煮着的沸腾汤锅里煮碎了。我照师父指示，念了师父传的五圣号与七戒礼物，轮上的众生因师父大力量就脱身跪在我的面前。我问他们为何会堕入这个地狱，他们说。因为生前吃很多人们追捕而来的鱼和动物的肉，这些动物们被追捕的时候惊慌逃命，却无处可逃；被抓到后又被杀，放进汤锅里把肉煮烂来吃。所以，我们吃了动物的肉，就堕入汤锅地狱，被罚一直不断的逃跑与被煮熟。我开导他们说，吃肉的业障极为深重。大家都是不知道吃肉后果如此可怕，才敢吃，并叮嘱他们以后转身一定记得要吃纯素与做好事。罪人就跟师父超生去了。但是在说话的同时，又看到很多裸体的新来的吃肉罪人从上面一个接一个堕入地狱。所以经典才说地狱不会空。此时，我的肉身左手背突然有一种痛感，查看之下，发现我的左手袖子无形中变得很宽大，里面有好多地狱众生被装在里面救出来了。原来，地狱众生也能被缩小带出来。惊讶之余，思及师父与地藏王菩萨如此帮助最苦众生，实在太慈悲伟大了。就瞬间回到地狱，赞颂起两位大圣者。才刚赞颂了两三句，就听到哐当哐当的巨响。原来是附近几个地狱的铁墙都因此而崩垮了，而且地狱原本黑黑的地上涌出了纯净明亮的泉水，形成了一个莲花池。从这池子里迅速开出了好多白莲花与金莲花，莲花越变越大，光辉美丽。地狱也能生金莲花，都因我们挚爱的青海无上师与地藏王菩萨无量的大力量、大功德，实在不可思议。It's not enough that you wear the monk's or nun's robe and just, you know, every day doing some not very useful rituals, taking donations, having a comfortable church or Temple to live in, and being revered by the faithful. You must turn around, be vegan. No more meat, no more animal products. Otherwise, you cannot escape hell. In my honor, in the name of God, I tell you the truth like that. Even if you feel offended, even if I risk. My safety, to tell you, the leaders of religions. I have to tell you. In the name of God, <sighs> it's not enough just to, to learn some ritual by heart, and just repeat what is in the Bible or the Sutra. People trust you, to lead them to the righteous way. Not only you have to be vegan, you must also advise your followers, the faithful, to do the same. Must be vegan. No more killing indirectly the poor innocent animals that God make. The animals are also God's children, 
and shall not be destroyed. The animals are helpers of humankind. In the Bible it even says all that. As the birds, they will show you. As the fish, they will instruct you. As the animals, they will tell you. They will advise you. So they are some beings to be respected, to be loved, at least to be friendly with. It's not for us to eat, to torture in such a barbarous way. And if you eat them, these torturously kill meats, you condone this practice and you are an accomplice. I am telling you as a friend, as a faithful, as a person who respects, loves God, as a person who loves human beings and animals, as a person who cries every day and night for their suffering. <laughs> I'm not spending idle time talking to you like this. I must warn you that hells are awaiting you if you don't turn around now and stop eating meat of the innocent animals. We, even no priests, even ordinary people, we humans, a humane human, should never enjoy <laughs> at the cause of suffering of any others. God says, so shall not kill, and that never fails. That law of the universe is everywhere correct and just. No one can escape that. As you saw, so shall you reap. Just because you don't see the animal suffer, just because you don't kill the animal, doesn't mean you don't partake in the sin thereof. People trust you. You must advise them to go the compassionate way, the way Jesus walked, the way the Buddha taught, the way Guru Nanak, Dev Chi saw to us the way Prophet Muhammad, peace be on him, taught us. All the masters say the same. Lord Mahavira did not even want to eat all the fruits even. And we are allowed to eat fruits and vegetables and in plenty. We are not short of food, of nutrition. We should not kill just to enjoy. This is wicked. This is against God. That's against your mission, against the rope that you are wearing, which is the holy rope, the representative of holiness, of heaven, of God. You have to live the way our masters taught us, like Lord Jesus, Lord Buddha, Lord Mahavira, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be on him, the Prophet Baha'u'llah, etc., etc. I have no more tears to show you. I cannot take out my heart to show you how sincere I am and how broken it has been over and over again because of the suffering of humans and animals. The suffering of animals affects humans, and thus humans also suffer. You are the representative of heaven. You're supposed to walk the way of heaven, of compassion, of love, of benevolence, of mercy. Then all that will come to you the day you leave this world, the day you discard your rope to go back to heaven. Otherwise, you go to hell, and I guarantee that. You know I mean it, and you know it is true. So you turn now. I wish you the best, in God's mercy and love. And I love you, all of you. Please, you turn. 
Thank you. Thank you all of you for helping in this mission to save the animals. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. save the world as well, save humans from this bad karma. Because every time I saw them suffering on TV, I cannot help crying my heart out. Thank you, really, from my heart. God bless you. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. We love you, Master. I really want to talk to you every day or read to you every day to refresh your practice and to encourage you to go on, yeah, continue with the hard job and, and to have continuous uh, faith in God. But uh, it's not always possible, so we do when we can, okay, huh? Yes, yes, yes. I just would love to, I just would love to, just that we all have work to do and also not always favorable to talk, okay, huh? Yes, yes, yes. yes. So now I wave goodbye. <laughs> love you forever. We love you. Love you. Love you. Thank you to you also that you are a good kid. Thank you, Master. See you next time. Love you. Love you. Love you.